Oh, what the? Hello, everyone, and welcome to another, I don't want to say gift video per se, but stuff that I got myself on Black Friday, but online, so, you know, I don't get trampled or anything like that. <laughs> this, this isn't like electronics or anything like that. It's just a bunch of puzzles that I got from the cubicle.us, because as you know, I, I do twisty puzzle type things like the Rubik's Cube, and speaking of, this is apparently... The, well, I should say, one of the greatest 3x3s of all time. And yes, I have opened it, tried it, tensioned it, lubed it, stuff like that. So, everything is incredible. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. This is really awkward to do with the camera in my way. But, yeah, I just thought, eh, let's just give this one a little try since I kind of got the cubing bug again. And yeah, it looks, looks pretty cool. It feels pretty nice. I always pick stickerless nowadays because it's, uh, just way, way better than stickered IMO because you don't have to keep replacing chip stickers or peeling stickers or something like that. It just gets annoying and there's a lot of stickers that go on to these things and it takes a while. So stickerless, I will take it. So yeah. <laughs> There's one of them. I guess I'll plop that back over there. And I also got the MF4. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not like a cheap line of cubes that perform really well, basically. <laughs> Woo! Okay, there we go. <laughs> and the MF4 is a 4x4, yeah. So, 3, 3x3, 4, 4x4. Also works quite well. I lubed the tension. This one is... Really, really ridiculously sensitive to uh, tensioning, though. Like, out of the box, I did one full turn counterclockwise, you know, loosen it up. And I did a solve on it and exploded! <laughs> Pieces everywhere, so it's, yeah, you gotta be very touchy with the tensionings on this. But other than that, it's it's doing pretty well. I And when you have a tension right doesn't really seem to pop or anything like that, so it's pretty nice to use. And I also got this, another little thingajigger that was on sale here. It's a very, very small speed cube with 3x3. Three three. It's a MF3 keychain cube of the, uh, where does it say? I think it's like 40, I mean, 4.0 centimeters or something like that, or, or, yeah, there we go, 4. Uh, 40 millimeters, so yeah, that, <laughs> so yeah, it's just, it's not really, <laughs> so it's, it's a keychain cube, and this little keychain actually comes off, which is incredibly handy, because could you imagine trying to solve the keychain on that, uh, just, oh, oh, geez, I, <laughs> Put it, put it between the stickerless pieces. There we go. Yeah, just imagine this flip-flopping all over the place. It's not good. So having this little removable keychain thing is pretty nice. I, I, I just really like the idea of a smaller cube that's like I just chuck into something if I know I'm going to be doing something boring. And yeah, <laughs> it's just so, so much easier to carry something this tiny to mess around with as opposed to you know, something, <laughs> or even the full size on it's, yeah, but you know, it's, it's, it's not something that I would use for like serious speed solve times or anything like that, but it works incredibly well, just like, <laughs> it's a tiny speed cube, by the way. Uh, so yeah, it's, and the corner cutting of these are doing pretty dang well, I must say. <laughs> But yeah, it's this when you uh, misalign things, then you just go right through them in a turn. You can even do like reverse cuts at a decent amount. So yeah, it's pretty neato, I must say. But uh, there's also some other stuff that I got, as I said. Like, like I got the accessories that I was talking about. I'm just going to give these a little scramble so that you can see what they look like. It's not like some super official high quality WCA scramble or anything like that. <laughs> but anyway, I got myself some Chi Yi Lube, you know, the Q I Y I, yeah, it's pronounced Chi Yi, and this is the Mofang G. And I already used this to lube these, so yeah. I also got this free with that. It's a clear cubicle stand. You can request the color, you get them free on the Black Friday thing. I went for 
clear because it looked, I think I thought it looked pretty cool. I like the I don't know if they're like floating or something like that. Well, maybe not, but <laughs> I thought the, the clear would look pretty neat like that. Now, I also got another MF3 RS2. Like, what, 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 why, why, why would you get this and that? Why, why would you get two of these? That's just ridiculous. Well, I'd like to try one without. Magnets and with the magnets. That's another thing that I got here was a little magnet kit here. It's a strong magnet kit and uh, they, these things really are strong. <laughs> I've not set this up or anything like that. I just gotta just got this all and the magnet kits comes with these little logos that you can swap out. So it's, you know, it's like a magnetized logo type thing. It comes with two of them and a little tips two of them yeah i got you know just kind of sorting through here at just one hand with the camera in my way little caps for the said tip got the polyurethane glue this is interesting it kind of bubbles up as it dries to make like shock resistance so that the magnets don't get knocked out of place but speaking of the magnets these things they are very strong <laughs> Yeah, that's when they say strong, they really mean strong. Watch this. I'm just gonna pop off the cap of this. It's got a it's got a screw under there. That's how I adjust these things. Yeah, I'll just kind of like you know attach this. To, oh, look at that. <laughs> so yeah, when they say strong, they really do truly mean it. And to magnetize it, all you have to do is put one polarity in the middle piece that matches up with the polarity of the corner piece. So you basically got to sort of kind of take this apart and whatnot to you know, do it. And you got to take the pieces apart by splitting them apart because as you see there, multiple piece design for said stickerless. And this particular one, I didn't really do any setup to. All I did was... Um, just see if it's, you know, not broken or anything like that, but, so it's it's not lubed or anything like that, but it still works incredibly well, because these things just turn incredibly well, uh, but, yeah, if I want to pull a piece out, I would have to do that, and then what I would do is I would split it apart thusly, and then this, this would be the point where, whoop, <laughs> this would be the point where you would glue in said magnets, and then you would also grab a corner out of there, it's split by three. This is tricky when I don't have a tool. I do actually have a tool around here, but... <laughs> so then you'd split those apart, you'd set the corner stock aside there, and then you would take uh, one magnet, put it in here, and then align it with this magnet here on this side, and then glue them in place with said polyurethane glue. It's all a, a pretty neat and easy process, but, you know, it's a, it's a little time-consuming. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a pretty nice little haul, and it was cheap. <laughs> it's a Black Friday. Like, this is normally $8, but it was half off, and I should actually pop that cap right back on there. There we go. <laughs> So, yeah, um, I should probably, you know, put these pieces back in there at some point, but... <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty nice, and you're probably curious, can PKGAM actually solve these things? Well, if you've seen my videos, and I did actually make cubing videos, you would know that, yes, I absolutely can. So, I just thought, eh, maybe, maybe I will do a little solve behind the camera, even though it's going to be... Oops, what am I doing? Be, yeah, kind of awkward. <laughs> Because the camera is kind of in my way. I should actually change, yeah, angle. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's not the most comfortable of setups. Because I'm, yeah, I'm in front of the bed and <laughs> it's, yeah, I don't want to tip over the camera. That's another thing. <laughs> But I will solve a 3x3 three three for you, I assure you. Don't you worry. There we go, it's solved. <laughs> and I might as well go for the 4x4 four four as well. Uh, the method that I use for the 3x3 three three is not anything super advanced or anything like that. It's Friedrich F2L and then a... Uh, um, 
uh, it was, it's like a two look OLL and PLL to finish off the last layer, you know, Orient last layer and Permute last layer. It's, it's cubing terms. <laughs> As I said, I've been playing around with twisty puzzles for quite a while. So yeah, I'm not going to do anything spectacular on camera here because as I said this is not the best setup whatsoever and I, I need to be further away from the camera I keep like zooming in with my hand movements <laughs> and now this method that I'm using here is known as the reduction method in that what you do is you get the centers you know you match up all the centers opposite colors and stuff like that you can see the the cubes key, uh, color scheme just by uh, matching up the corners and stuff like that if you don't know it offhand and then what you do is you pair up the edges and then you solve it like a three by three <laughs> so it's it's super efficient but uh yeah i'm, I'm doing it in front of a the camera in my face so <laughs> It's not, not really gonna be super epic speed solve time or anything like that, but it, it as you can see, it works pretty dang well. And just watch it, it, it explodes on me just, just because I'm filming now and I want to show you a solved. <laughs> uh, I got eight edge pairs done. Done at nine, ten. Wait, oh no, I didn't have. Oh shoot, I lost track of. <laughs> That's okay. It's it's recoverable. Uh, so I I only had nine edge pairs done at that point, not ten. And for these last two, I'll just swap these around. You could tell my hands are in a really awkward position by the way that I'm moving, but <laughs> as I said, this isn't anything super special. Uh, solve wise or anything like that. It's just to show you how well these things work and whatnot, providing that I can chain some moves together nicely <laughs> with the camera in my face. I know I'm complaining about the camera a lot, but it's, it really is a very awkward position. Uh oh, I got parody. <laughs> this is a thing that cannot happen on a 3x3 three three when you're solving it as a 3x3 uh, three three stage. It's like one edge piece being flipped. And that can not happen on a regular three by three as that's a, I guess you could say a, an illegal position because, uh, it, you, you cannot just have one corner flipped or anything like that. And there's another one sold. So yeah, like if, uh, like say if this one was turned like that, that's actually an illegal position. You can't just turn one piece like that. You've got to have mm, hard the corner twist there. <laughs> I, maybe I should should have loosened it up to show you the um, corner twisting things easier, but <laughs> but I I, don't, I have them set up to be semi you know decent at this point. I, I'll probably keep tweaking them as I go. But another thing that it cannot be in a position of nor whoop, in a position of normally is if just one edge piece is flipped like like so. You know, it's got the red there, yellow there. I, having difficulties yeah this is it's a very stable cube <laughs> so yeah this is an illegal position as well the same if uh say this yellow green and uh yellow blue were flipped but still have the yellow on top that's also an illegal position but that can all happen on said uh four by four because of the fact that it's not one piece in the three by three phase of it, you know, where I'm just turning these outer layers like that. It is, yeah, it's like that. It's multiple pieces. So yeah, this is what a fake edge flip would be like on this. That would be an illegal position. But as you see, it's definitely possible to do on here. Anyway, I'm rambling on. You see me solve and give them review and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to end off the video here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later. This makes me look like a giant. <laughs>